Welcome to today's video where we will explore the interesting story behind how Bluetooth got its name. We need to go back in time to the 1990s. At that time, wireless communication was still in its early stages, and there were several competing standards. The Swedish telecommunications company, Ericsson, was working on a wireless technology that would allow devices to communicate with each other without the need for cables. They called it MC-Link, which stood for Mobile Communication Link. Ericsson soon realized that they needed to collaborate with other companies to establish a standard for wireless communication. So, they formed a consortium with other companies, including IBM, Nokia, and Toshiba. Together, they began working on developing a new wireless standard that would be reliable, easy to use, and compatible with various devices. The group's code name for this project was Bluetooth, named after Harold Bluetooth, a Viking king who ruled Denmark and Norway from the year 958 until his death in 986. Harold was known for his ability to unite people from different regions and backgrounds, just as Bluetooth technology aimed to unite various devices and technologies. But why did they choose the name Bluetooth? According to legend, Harold Bluetooth was nicknamed Bluetooth because he had a dead tooth that looked blue. The Bluetooth logo, which is a combination of two runes from the Scandinavian alphabet, was designed to represent Harold Bluetooth's initials. Thank you for watching the Curious Collective.